God's honest truth. Now, we just watched the good brother Chico Bean and Ice Wear Vezo go through a mental workout to process some of their trauma. Now, I want to continue our conversation on mental health with my guest, Dr. Rita Walker, psychologist, that's right, and author of The Unapologetic Guide to Black Mental Health, Resma Minikim, therapist and author of the New York Times bestseller, My Grandmother's Hands, and a very special guest, Grammy Award winner, author of the book, Checking In, as well as the host of the Checking In podcast and mental health care advocate, Michelle Williams. That's right. <laughs> that was good. Hey. <laughs> First of all, these are three of my favorite people in this space, man, so I'm really happy to have y'all. Uh, Dr. Walker, you know, we saw Chico and Icewear, they was at Inception. What should be the next steps of their process on their healing journey? I gotta tell you, for me, as a clinical psychologist, it's about thoughts and behavior. Hi, my name is Lichem Simang, and I'm interrupting your favorite show because there is an issue that's dear to my heart that I really need us to talk about. According to saferspaces.org, between 25 and 40% of South African women have experienced sexual or physical IPV. That's intimate partner violence. Look, we've run hashtags, we're tired. We've run ads, we're tired, nothing changes. It can't be business as usual, guys. So it's time for us to act, to do something. If you need help, there are platforms available. You don't need to go through this alone. Let's come together and stop the violence. So once they've been to inception or feeling more open to looking at their life differently, then see a professional who will help them take control of their life, take control of, control of their thoughts so that they can then uh, you know, manifest that, that mental well space or that mental space a little bit more effectively when new things happen. Because mm -hmm. stuff always happens, right? And we have to know what to do in those moments. Michelle. Ooh. Embracing and confronting everything just face on, head on. Healing does not feel good. It's irritating, it itches. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to take care of the wound. You have to tend to the wound. And then before you know it, it maybe, it becomes a scar, but it doesn't hurt anymore. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Resume, as, as a black man, when you saw that, what, what, what did you think when you saw those brothers building like that? Well, the first piece, brother, that, I, that, that impacted me was how intimate they were. Mm -hmm. What you were watching was, as, as Sis was saying, was an opening, right, mm -hmm. and a possibility, right? What we have to do is not just have an opening, but consistently do something over and over and over again so we get used to having a sense of resource and intimacy and being with each other. <laughs>